So we have a lot of transformations that we can perform on any function and we want to focus in this video on the horizontal and vertical shifts. So if I have a general um, formula right here, I have just any function out there. If I am subtracting or adding a number to the function on the inside of this set of parentheses, the net effect is that it's going to be a horizontal shift. And the idea on the horizontal shifts, however, is that my function is going to be moving opposite in what this sign looks like. So if I am thinking about just sh how much do I shift left or right, then I am going to be shifting actually in this case to the right by an amount of C. Okay, so it moves in the opposite of what the, what the value there looks like. Now, if I am adding a number to my function, okay, so if I'm adding a number to the outside of my function, that is a vertical shift. And luckily, that does perform in the way that we want. This would be a vertical shift up, because it's positive, by an amount of D. So let's go look at this cool graph that I found. This is using Desmos, and you can see that over here on the left hand side it's some kind of crazy function which says x squared plus the sine of 3x. Now this is the graph of that function and when I perform these transformations on that function I want you to see what happens. So it's important for you to understand that we can do this transformation to any function. It doesn't have to be the seven parent ones that you're looking at uh, memorizing. It's anything. This works for any function out there. So if I were to shift this slider bar for the uh, values of h, notice, well you can't because it's not on, now we'll click it on, notice what's happening to my function. Okay, it's the same function, but when I, sh when I change this h value in the function, it has the effect of shifting this guy left or right along the x-axis. Now if I were to mess with the K, right? K is supposed to be a vertical shift up or down. So if I change this, you can see that my function is shifting up or down. And that's kind of the idea of what we're doing here with our horizontal and vertical shifts. Again, that idea is for any function out there. So let's see if we can practice that in an example. Here I'm giving you some uh, little up and down function y is equal to g of x and I want to perform this transformation to create a new function, right? So just like over here when I shifted and changed my values for h and k, I changed from the red function into a brand new orange function and that's what we're going to be doing here. So I said that if we are adding or subtracting inside of the function that we have vertical, uh, it's not vertical, we have horizontal shifts. We're going to be shifting left or right. And we are actually going to shift opposite in what you see here. So we'll be shifting to the right by 2. So how do we plot that? Well, we're going to take all of these points that are listed for me on the graph and I'm going to shift them to the right by 2. So this negative 4 shifts to the right negative 2 shifts to the right, 0 shifts to the right, 2 shifts to the right, and now 4 shifts to the right. And I connect the dots showing you what the new function actually is. So this function in red is y equals, or let me change that, no, I want to say this. This is g of x at x minus 2 now x minus 2 with parentheses, that would be important. Okay, let's try that again because we can actually have multiple shifts. I can not only shift, say, horizontally, as you see here inside of the function, but then I can shift vertically as well. So we are going to start inside of the set of parentheses here and deal with the vertical, <laughs> I keep saying vertical, we're going to deal with the horizontal shift. Remember horizontals inside of the parentheses. So this is a horizontal shift left or right. So we're going to shift opposite of what you see here. So I'm going to shift to the left by 3. So I'm going to go change all of these points to the left by 3. So I'm going to 
take this negative 4, 1, 2, and we'll just pretend it's out here, 3. Negative 2 goes 1, 2, 3. 0 goes 1, 2, 3. 2 goes 1, 2, 3. And did I forget one? 4 goes 1, 2, 3. Now all of these red dots are just the first transformation, but I'm going to change colors into green. And we have this guy out here, which is my vertical translation. And he is going to go down by 1. So all of these red dots, I'm now going to shift down by 1. So that one moves down, this one moves down, the negative 3 moves down. Don't lose sight of what we got. My eyes are going to cross here in a second. Uh, this one's going to move down. I think that's it. See, my eyes crossed. So we're going to connect the green dots. We're going to go down, up, and down. So we're ending here. So the green equation, or not the green equation, the green graph is the graph of g of x at x plus 3 minus 1. And that's how we're going to do vertical and horizontal translations.